Okay. This is the Sony Picture Station. It's uh, um, one of the easiest um, photo printers to use. And that's why we bought a bunch of them here at mask.org. Um, this is what we'll be using to print out all the photos to give out to the people at this event. So um, there's two main parts. There's the printer and then the paper tray. Uh, paper tray opens by just simply pulling on this and you can go and load the, the photo paper in there. Um, photo paper is in a sealed container. Uh, it has a shelf life, so the longer we leave it sealed, the longer it's good for. Once you open this, you stick you stick it into the photo tray this way, and uh, do it with the um, the cover sheet. And then when you're done loading the paper, pull the cover sheet out. Um, if you touch any of this photo pic picture paper before it goes into the printer, your thumbprint or fingerprint will end up in the picture and it won't print correctly. So you definitely don't want to touch the pictures that we're going to give out. That's why they provide us with the cover sheet here. Okay, so once this is loaded, this then just sticks into here. Make sure it's totally closed and snapped together. Um, the next piece is the toner, which is up in here. You just slide this back and you access the toner piece. You can pop the toner out just by pulling that green thing and this cartridge lifts out. This cartridge is good for 25 pictures. Uh, it will tell you on the display when it is exhausted. Um, there's This is the replacement toner cartridge. Again, it's in a sealed pack, so once you open it, it has a shelf life. Um, so uh, only open these as you need them, but then you stick them in just as I showed you to replace the, the thing. Again, also only good for 25 pictures. So once this is loaded up and ready to go, um, and these are coming almost preloaded with some left on them, um, stick the memory stick in the top slot, push it until it clicks, and you'll see up here on the display, it'll show you the memory stick is working when you see those numbers. You want to hit auto print three times until you see all. So when it says all, that means that we're going to print every picture that's on that uh, memory stick. Once you do that, you hit print. Again, this will take about 30 seconds a picture, so you definitely want to start this before the bunny goes in and take a break. Um, that way this can be working while the bunny's getting water and, uh, and getting a rest. Um, we've provided you several memory sticks. The idea is that the next group out, you could take the other memory stick loaded into the camera. This one can stay in the printer and keep printing if it needs to. Um, and then if you're still not done printing pictures by the end of the next set, you've got another printer. So the idea is two printers can be printing at once, um, keeping this going efficiently. The venue manager should be able to distribute the pictures to the guests. Um, if you have a guest that's in a hurry or whatever, you can hand off the memory stick early and get one, one, uh, one printer working on it while the bunny's still out. Um, but then once you're done, uh, take a fresh memory stick, stick it in the camera, and uh, go out and start shooting pictures again. Um, I do recommend that if you're going to recycle any of these, please clear off all the pictures on the memory stick. There's a format option on the camera that will format the memory stick and get rid of everything in one shot. You can also just go and delete each picture on the camera itself. So um, that's pretty much how to do this. It takes uh, about, it has to run this each picture through four times, about 30 seconds to do it. And uh, this one's done, and this is what your final image will look like. Um, before you, you can uh, have the guests do this, or you can do it if you like, but these uh, top and bottom leaders just tear right off. You just crack them and, and rip them, and then that can go out to the, the guest. So if you have any questions, please give us a call here at mask.org. Thanks a bunch.